What's up everybody? This is Rich from True Boy GD's EDC and prepping. Use your gear, lose your gear, because if you're not using it, you might as well lose it. So today, I want to come back on here, do another video, quick uh, review of a knife that I've had for quite a while actually, that I haven't reviewed, I don't believe, and to get back to reviewing knives, I kind of got sidetracked for a while there with EDC stuff like pouches and wallets and pry bars and all this other stuff, which is cool, but I want to get back uh, to the knife you know side of it so I'm gonna review this knife this is the SRM 9202 so SRM Senrenmu it's an imported knife uh, I think this knife was about $29 from White Mountain Knives it is made out of D2 it does have sliding bar lock they call it a ambidextrous lock but it's actually not that bad. It's pretty cool. It's got this uh, pretty cool thumb ramp right there with some jimping on it. So that's good. It's got also the thumb cut, cut out so you can open it that way. It, they call it a clip point. It's kind of a Persian style looking blade to me. It has G10 scales. Um, the liner is pretty skeletonized. I'm not sure you can see that, but it is uh, definitely pretty skeletonized. It has tip up carry right hand or left handed only it does have some grip on it you know the g10 is pretty decent um i don't mind it i actually like it g10 is pretty good uh let's see how it weighs it doesn't seem like it weighs that much to me i mean but you know sometimes things seems things seem lighter than what they really are so let's see what we got going on here it weighs 3.45 ounces so it's really not heavy at all and oh, let's get a measurement on this bad boy so there we go Let's see what we got. We got going on. It's about 8.1. So, yeah, about 8.1. You got like a good three and a half inch blade there. 8.1 overall. Fits in your hand really well, especially with that, you know, you got that thumb ramp right there. I like that a lot. That's really good. Um, and like I said, you can open it with the cutout if you wanted or, you know, just flip it open with the sliding bar lock there. It actually works pretty good, actually, to be honest with you. And uh, like I said, SRM is an import company uh, from China. Uh, uh, Senrenmu, it stands for, they changed the name, so stay ready for more is what SRM stands for. They wrote it in the smallest possible lettering ever, but it's on there. They got the blue pivot collar on it with their logo. I mean, it looks nice, pretty decent knife. It does have a lanyard, uh, a lanyard space here that's uh, attached to the spacer because it also has a G10 spacer. And um, yeah, so it's pretty decent. Uh, for the price that I paid for it. Like I said, it was about $29 from White Mountain Knives in New Hampshire. Free shipping, no sales tax. Not bad at all. I carried this actually for a while when I went on vacation. It's a really good slicer for, you know, if you wanted to use it for food prep or something because it's got that, that good belly on it. And like I said, I'm not really a big clip point fan, but the thumb ramp, you know, jimping, you get a good grip on it good for a lot of different things and the blade looks cool i mean it's pretty cool interesting blade it's got some swedging on the front it's got some uh flats right there satin uh it's got the model number on the the backside flat right there with an another number it says srm it says d2 right there uh and like i said the action on this uh sliding bar lock is pretty decent it's not bad for a 30 dollar knife so check it out uh, I know White Mountain Knives was sold out of this last time I checked, but you know what? It might have came back or check it out on uh, Knife Center or something like that. Um, they're about $29, $30, bucks, not bad at all. Really reasonable, really decent knife, really lightweight and good size, you know, if you want a bigger uh, knife. So check out the SRM. It is the 9202. It's pretty awesome. So some of the other stuff I got on me today, still carrying the uh, Rough Rider knife that I got there, the Stockman. Uh, T10, Sow Belly Stockman. Put the little uh, Kickerland pen up in there. Got the uh, Rhodia pad, notepad and the Nightcore Tube V2 and the Viper Aid VE08. So that's the uh, front pocket carry. This is actually working out really well. Uh, I did call Viper Aid and, or spoke to them on email and about this missing invisible thread thing that they said they had going on. They said they're going to send me another one and then they had the wrong address and I said, You got the wrong address. And now they're like, uh, we already sent it. And I'm like, dude, that's the wrong address. You're going to have to send it back to the right address when it comes back to you then. So I'm like, seriously, it's like a total pain in the ass. So if I ever do get this one, uh, I'm probably just going to keep this one and give the other one away. 
Um, I don't need two of them. And like I said, this one hasn't really fell apart yet. And I've been carrying it for a while. So, and I'm gonna carry it probably for the rest of August, um, just to you know use it for a month to see how it goes and make sure it doesn't fall apart and they're invisible thread and all of that stuff, you know, so. But other than that, this stuff's pretty good. It's uh, 500D polyester. This is some kind of a nylon tape right here. So overall, it's really not bad. And they are trying to make it right, I guess. Um, so I don't have a problem with that. Um, if I don't get it, whatever, I just don't get it. It's not a big deal. So that's what I got in my front pocket with that. Um, also got the Teal Designs Slim Jim pry bar. Really haven't used it, but whatever, I'm carrying it. Got my random coin that I have, this compass coin. And then I got my uh, Roblazen, Roblazen wallet um, that I just got the other day uh, in the mail to just test it out and see how it is. Only had it today, but you know what? I don't, I don't know, I don't hate it. It's not too bad. Um, I wanted to compare it to uh, my St. Laurent wallet. This is obviously thinner. Um, I did get it to stretch because of the fact that it's thinner. So I got, what I got, like eight cards in here and a credit card knife. I actually got my credit card knife in there. So, I mean, but the St. Laurent wallet can hold a lot too. So, but we'll see. I just want to carry it for about a month. I think I'm going to do it because I carried the St. Laurent wallet for about that time so far. And I just want to see, um, you know, see how it holds up. So that's what I got. And that's probably what I'll carry for the next month. And that's about what I got going on today. This is a Bear Hanks Hank that I got. It's a giant Hank. Actually, it's, it's open, but it's still pretty large. Um, it's about the size of the square when it's closed. So it's about six by six. It's six by six folded up, which is not bad. And um, yeah, check out Bear Hanks on Etsy. They got some pretty cool stuff. And also, I'm going to uh, be doing another 30-day knife challenge after this one on the first. I'm going to start it on the first because I have another knife coming. Um, I just ordered the uh, Boker Urban Trapper Petite. So it's supposed to come on Monday the 1st, and then I can uh, start that for my August carry. So if anybody wants to get involved in another 30-day knife challenge, I will be starting one on August. I don't know when my mail is going to come, so I'll still have this probably for that day. And it'll be a, a true 30-day challenge because I probably won't even start carrying the other one until the second. So that's what I'm going to do. But if you guys get a chance, go to Knife Center. They have some kind of a huge closeout sale going on right now for a bunch of different companies. And the Boca Urban Trapper is a $90 knife, and I just got it for like 50 bucks. Um, it was $49.99 marked down for the closeout sale, plus tax and shipping. It came to like $54. And um, on every other site, it's still 90 bucks. So it's not just Boker that they're doing the closeout for. They're doing uh, Bitch Made. They got some stuff for them. They got some stuff for Buck. They got a whole bunch of closeout sales going on for the summer. And also Boker is doing um, a summer closeout sale that I believe ends on tomorrow. So if you want to get on there and check that out, do that. But uh, definitely go to Knife Center, check out their closeout sales, and get yourself a knife. Uh, a lot of them are marked down like half price. So check it out. All right, you guys have a good one.